Well, hello friends, how's everybody doing tonight, or today, whichever it is for you. This is your friend Jeff, playing Ultimate General American Revolution, um, the general edition of this early access game from Game Labs. If you're interested in this game, you can go to Game Labs and you can get it, I guess. Um, I always do this because I support the devs, like I've done it for Gettysburg, I did it for Ultimate General Civil War, i also done it for um, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, which during that time is when basically my channel came up, because it came up due to the fact that I like the Net Netflix uh, Narcos show. And that game came out, which is not by these guys, but um, the reason my channel got started was all I wanted to do was show somebody playing the game, basically, of the Narcos, because a lot of people on Steam complained about that, that game, because it w wasn't like XCOM or something, and I felt that was an ungood comparison to try to do it against that game. So basically, I just wanted to show somebody playing it, and that's it. And that's what I'm going to do right now uh, for this game here, which is the fourth game that I bought from them, giving them extra money for the general edition. But um, this game will come out maybe next year in the summer or something, and it'll get to Steam, but right now it's not on Steam, so don't look there for it. Uh, let's take a peek at the uh, tutorials. You can see that we can look at some for like naval battles, land battles, strategic elements, uh, campaign, and headquarters. You can actually go to their game lab site and you can probably see some of these anyway uh, without even buying this game. And don't forget, when you buy this game at this point, you may not get a key for Steam later on. So what it is, is you're just trying to support the devs at this point. And so, and then we have things like this. We could do uh, skirmish battles, which is like, you know, naval domination, great, you know, whatever. I haven't, I haven't even, I, I'm more of a campaign person, so I, I haven't really tried these, though, you know, I could, but anyways. And then uh, we have the campaign. So let's go ahead into it. I'll only show you this once, so uh, this is the, we're going to create our character, which will be a, you know, General George Washington, basically. So let's go ahead and... Every person is born to do something great. Every day they have a choice to take a step closer to their destination or to run away. All right, so make your choice of your story. So now I'm, I assume here that when the British campaign is here... You know, we'll have two options instead of just one option. And right now, this is only a partial USA campaign. And everything that I'm going to show you here isn't necessarily the way to do it. It's just the way that I'm going to do it. Because I've been doing this for on and off for a week now. And um, it's definitely a, a learning curve uh, to this game. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and... I was the first child in the family. All right, well, uh, this is, a, of course, this is a, a development and story of our George Washington. And everything here happened to him, but not me. So I am going to put in my name here. And we will uh, begin. As the eldest child, I took on much of the responsibility for my younger brothers and sisters. Everything we do while we set up our creation of our character will affect every one of these things here. Intelligence, perception, endurance, charisma, and willpower. So we go with leadership, we can go with dominance, and we can go with responsibility. A lot of times I have done this one, but... I'm going to go with this one this time. At the age of 11, I lost my father, and the responsibility for all family affairs passed to me. Plantation management and financial matters became part of my daily routine. 
Okay, now this is your general. So, you, you know, he, he, he can have 25% spot in, uh, command or of 20%. That's the spear around him, how he can get many, many of his troops that he can affect. And then speed. The only thing I'm going to say about all of this is simply that if your general gets caught between a unit that's going to shoot him, you can lose 14 of his 50 guys and then each volley thereafter. And if uh, your general dies, your, your campaign is over. If the reputation of your general falls below 15 in three weeks, your campaign will be over if you don't get it up because you'll be fired. So those are the two negatives or uh, things that can happen just with your general. But like I said, if you like Spartan, if you like uh, Aurora, or if you want speed, I'm gonna go speed because speed could save his life. I mean, yes, you're gonna have you're gonna make some saves. So if your general dies, I mean, or if your command ca campaign is over, I mean, obviously you're gonna load a save. But it just depends on how far you went without a save, or the, you know, whatever. So but, uh, I'm just I giving you some reason. In studying and managing the family's plantation. My mentor and older half brother is like a father to me. Died trip to Barbados. His loss affected me greatly. Okay, so this is a negative thing that happened uh, to George Washington's family, so we will go ahead and take a hit somewhere along here. So alienation, I've done this one a lot. Um, depression, but I've, I've never taken this big hit here in endurance. So uh, mostly I've done this, but I'm going to go with this one. At the age of 20, I was appointed commander of the Virginia Militia, in part due to my organizational talents. Tensions over control of the Ohio River Valley eventually sparked the French and Indian War. I was able to apply my skilled management to help prepare my troops. Okay, so now, uh, willpower... Stanima and firearms. Now, I'm just going to tell you that, you know, willpower is good, stanima is good, and also firearms. Because firearms is one of the things that, you know, we start out with the worst civilian musket in the game. And so maybe having 10 on this would be nice uh, but stanima they can do more and uh, willpower and melee or whatever but so i'm, I'm gonna go with the firearms we fought well capturing several french forts and in spite of some setbacks we succeeded in driving out the french my attempts to secure a commission in the army were thwarted by english officers with little respect for my abilities so i decided to resign my next steps were now this might be a no-brainer my friends you know uh money can't buy happiness but money can sure make things a lot easier so anyways ten thousand here so you stop in the game with an extra ten thousand ah but you get a nice 25 percent bump in reputation which reparate rep reputation you can use to 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 quickly get tech which is a big part of this game but again, there's going to be positive and negative things that are going to happen in the campaign. And again, if you go below 15, uh, you're going to have some problems. And then the tensions with the natives. Well, yes, there's a lot of native tribes in this game that you don't see initially, but you'll see events with them. But there's also Spain, France, and everybody else that you're also going to have tensions with. And so just having this for the natives might be good in the natives area. But again, I'm just going to settle for the money. Sorry. Afterwards, I ran for and was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses. In 1774, I was elected as a delegate to the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia. There I helped secure. All right, now this is where it gets really tricky, okay? Because this is the last step. 
We're either going to start with one more ship, which is, which is a six-rate porcupine uh, corvette. So, and that'll be in Portsmouth. So we'll have that if we pick that. And that means we can instantly do a sea battle. But that part of the area on the ocean is pretty tricky. And there's some, a lot of bad things that can happen. But I, I might show you that. And then the one military unit. We could start with an extra military unit. Militars are the worst units in the game. Minutemen are much better. But they're smaller. And fuselers are the best of our starting two units that we get. But we could get this and have one military unit. And here... We could choose 1,000 civilian muskets, which again is the worst market mu muskets. But however, we're going to have this thousand here if we take this, and then we're going to do a conquered battle that comes up right away. And you should do it because you're going to get 10 rep, and you're going to get another military unit if you do it. And so th at this point, you would have 2,000 muskets, so you wouldn't have any problem creating some more units with those 2,000 muskets so but um, so but I'm gonna say take nine out of ten times I've taken this but if I want to do sea battles you know I have to take this one tensions with England have reached a breaking point in the near future a confrontation will break out and I will have to use all my experience to fight for the independence of the colonies all right, now here we are with our, whichever name is. This is supposed to be George Washington, but again, you can put your own name in if you want to do that. And then if I look at the photos here, the only guy that has ro relatively brownish hair is this guy here. So I'm going to take him now. I honestly should do easy opponent's army down 50% opponent's navy down 50% recruits 25% income 50% so hell so they would give us 50% more income and reputation and negative impacts is just going to be minus 25% now on normal Opponent's army down 19%, opponent's navy down 19%, recruits up 10%, income up 20%, reputation uh, negative impact minus 10%. And then on hard, opponent's army is 20% and the navy up. And on ultimate, opponent's army is 50%, navy 50%. Our recruits are down 10%, our income is down 10%, and our reputation negative impact 10%. So yeah, um, that's about all I can say. Uh, these are what I decided upon. So I took dominance, strategy, depression, uh, shooting, training, 10,000 extra and one warship so let's go ahead and see on normal i guess but this is a curve to this game takes a moment <laughs> All right, so the arrival, I hired two regiments, one from Pennsylvania and one from Virginia to support the Patriot cause. I traveled to Massachusetts, but you know, I'm from this, uh, I, I'm from Massachusetts, so I can say it's Taxachusetts, uh, with the two regiments eager to join the fight against the British. Now, we're going to pause the game at this very moment so I can just explain a few things about this. Not that I'm an expert of it, but I'm just going to say. Okay. So if you want to know my history a little bit, I can tell you I was born 50 miles southeast of Boston to a place called New Bedford, 
And it used to be back then a whaling city. They used to actually go out here and hunt whales. Now, I know that's crazy today, but I mean, back then it was okay. They needed the uh, blubber and all that stuff for the for oil lamps and things of that nature. And they made every use they could with those whales. But anyways, that's it. Now, when I was a teenager, I got to do deep sea fishing out here for three summers with my uncle, Royal. And we caught fluke, scup, uh, and rock bass. And we even trolled for blues. We, we ate lobster and, and fish every day around noontime. And it was the best of times, to be honest. And that's why I'm just going to share that with you for just a moment. The other thing I can mention is in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, you could go there today and you can see some really stoic uh, marble uh, mansions. It's like it's really cool to see that. But of course, you can go to California and go to Bel Air and see a whole bunch of different types of mansions there too. In Providence, Rhode Island, back in the mid, mid 70s, so I am old, but it, in, a, in the mid 70s, I saw my very first rock concert in Providence, Rhode Island. It was KISS. And at that time, it was the best show on earth. And I can say that because I was there. And if we head off to Boston, I used to have to work at Boston. I used to have to drive 50 miles each way. And I used to work at the naval base at uh, South uh, Weymouth, Massachusetts. However, that base was given back to the city, so that base no longer exists. And then in Salem, we could go there and see the, the th what happened to the witches. Or, and they're not really witches, but the bad time of history that we can know what happened there. And then Plymouth, we can also see the Plymouth plantation where you can see people living like as if they're living in the 1600s which that's really something so now i'm gonna say that's enough of me and now we're gonna get back into the game and i'm sorry if you like or dislike you know it's just what it is so anyways like i said um i lived mass i lived in massachusetts for my first 20 years of life and then I went into the Navy, but anyways. Uh, so in Portsmouth, as I said, okay, so now, does, regardless of when you start this game, okay, you either gonna have uh, one ship here, okay, so I took, the, I took the ship, so it's the USS Providence. And you can see this guy right here. He's at 140. He's going to get to 210 on this ship. We got six pounders and nine pounders. And we can apply. And like I said, they have 66% of their troops. So that they will do it. You can see his stats there, not very good. And I'm just going to leave him like that because of the simple fact you know, we're going to need better officers for our tech stuff anyway. So I wouldn't want to trade out an officer yet. Now this guy in uh, Portsmouth, we can go ahead and we can add a unit to him. Now if you look at this guy, the militer. Now we're going to get a lot of milit in this game and these are the worst guys. They're non-professional. And you can read it right there and you can see their stats. I won't pick artillery because we might not have enough. We need to have five in order to make a unit. So I'm not even going to do that. And then the Minutemen, they are much better, but they're smaller, right? And so you have to judge, do you want to pay and have, you know, this, which is he can skirmish. He's, he's superior stealth and superior spotting range. So, I mean, later on, I'll, I'll go into that more. But for right now, um, we just need the numbers. 
So I'm just gonna go with the Milito, which again they suck, but so now instead of 90, he's 130. And if you leave him here for a few days, now this campaign starts on April 18th, 1775. And so it might take a couple days for him to get up to 450 guys. At the same time, because I chose the warship, he's going to build up. And once he's built up, we can go out into the ocean and we can fight. But it just depends on what we're going to fight depends on that so i would i recommend saving the game because i'm going to just tell you it's it's so easy to lose your ships out here like it is is it's real easy okay and now so now that i discussed this so it remember whether you took the ship or not this guy is always going to be here and so i suggest you know getting him up to full status now we look at our two units that we got which are fuselers these guys are professional army for us anybody that has a chevron you can instantly give them discipline training or you can give them stanima so this is really tough they're going to get tired a lot just walking from here to there. And it's going to take a day. So we could go with Stanima. Or we could go with this, which would be good for... Uh, it, it's, it's, really, it's really tough. Because like in all of these games, like Ultimate General and Gettysburg and even Age of Sail, which one third of that game is land battles. Two thirds are sea battles. I will just say that you can make arguments for either of these but but I just know of these guys when they're out here they're gonna get tired so fast that they're not gonna be able to do much so I'll give them that advantage at the moment this is my general or this could be George Washington or it could be anybody who you want tell him to get over there I want him to go there, and I want this guy to go there. I don't know why he has to do that, but you got to get him kind of close if you want them to be able to go right in. And then in Hartford is going to be like kind of like our home base. There's Newport, there's Providence. They're owned by the British. They don't have anybody here, and they got a small unit here, but he'll build up. And we have nobody here, and we're going to do the first battle roughly in this area in Leicester, which will be conquered and that. And then the, the last thing I'll discuss is Hartford. In Hartford, had you not chosen the ship, you would have a militia here, and he might be like, uh, like 315 or 330 in men. And, you, and the recommendation is to leave him here so he can build up to 450. Once he's 450, move him out to do an attack. And I think that is all. And then if you had the muskets, the 1,000 muskets, which I don't think we can see right now because it's all locked. Um, if you had the 1,000 muskets, then you would not have a militia here or you would not have a ship here. And it might, you know, it depends on how you want to play. You can always build a navy later on when you get Newport. You don't have to take this right away. I'm only taking this right away so I can show you a sea battle. That's about, you know, and then see, because th this is very tricky. You, you can either, you know, capture a few ch ships and get bigger, or you can get caught out here into the way this game's mechanics are. And you can end up losing your ship. You're hopefully, like, I've lost three ships all at once because of the way this works out here. So, but anyways, I think that's about all that I want to say other than you can see that that extra 10,000 gets us over to 25,000. So, I mean, we're going to need every bit of that money and stuff because you can see we're not doing squat right now. We got materials, we have population, we have some officers. And at the moment, uh, we have 
three units and we have one ship like if you didn't take that ship you would have zero here so okay so now with that said let's go ahead oh and the other thing is I can say that you would want to uh, save the game and I will go ahead and do that I'm just gonna say normal for normal difficulty I'm gonna say sail because I do have that one ship instead of the military and I'll just put a one there and you know you can put anything you want I mean it's just it's just something that you you your system is so, I mean this is my system and you don't see any other saves here because I deleted them all so but anyways here we go game is saved and now we'll start the game by undoing the pause button and these guys are gonna walk forward and meanwhile these guys are gonna be building up and my general will be the first guy that gets here and we can tell him to go in so you can see the general is 50 it's it's cavalry guys they don't fight I've never seen him fight and if he gets killed your campaign is over so he looks like he's gonna arrive first so I'm just gonna wait for the button I'm gonna tell him to go in I'm gonna tell this guy to go in and now everybody is in right before they said conquered lexington battle so i did it i got them in but they're not going to be in this battle though that's the only that's the only bad thing about this but okay so as you can see right here my friends it says i will urge in commanding the local patriots forces and we're going to get 10 plus reputation so the, the last thing before going into this battle, I will mention to you that you, yet you should do this every time you start a campaign because you're going to get a reward from doing this by 10 rep. So I have 50 rep right now. I'm going to have 60 at the end of this battle. Also, had you taken the 25 rep, you would have 75 right now. And then you do this battle and you would have 85 rep, which is a lot of rep. So, but I just want to make some of those points. So let's go ahead into this battle. Now this is a battle where in normal difficulty, we're going to face 1,200 British regulars. But we eventually are going to get 3,140 guys, eventually. And that's the only way that we can win this particular battle. This is more like a tutorial battle. I can tell you um, that this border, we cannot go out of this border, but the enemy can. And so they, and they will, they'll retreat out at some point. Um, but anyways, this was the 19th April, 1775, the Battle of Concord, that this actually really did happen. So let's go. The British are attempting to advance to Concord and seize Patriots' stash weapons and ammo. The stash weapons and ammunition are vital for our cause and must be saved at all costs. We have reports that Patriots are from all near counties are on the way. We must slow the British down until they arrive. Good luck, General. And so yeah, the game always does this where they put you in a bad spot. So you gotta you gotta turn the camera. Alright, so we have one minute man here. Like these are small minute men. Because you can you can buy Minutemen minute men in the game and there'll be a hundred. These guys are undermanned. Now I'm just gonna like so this is where they wanna start out at, and we can change that by telling them to come back, but we wanna try to uh, slow these guys down because these guys these these guys are really good but the Minutemen are pretty good too but the militas they totally suck but we'll eventually have the numbers now you can see it's two for two at the moment I want to see if these guys reload quicker 
Oh, but see, he wants to come in. Back up. Okay, fuck. Okay, hold on. Hold your position. Meanwhile, you... He's take. Oh no 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 no. Uh oh, too late. Maybe could no. See, I'm telling him to retreat, and he's gonna go in. See, this is. Do you see what fallback is? And and he's not doing it. He went forward. The devs have got to fix that. There's something wrong with that. There is something. Uh, so I lost him. That is, that's that's one. Of, and don't forget, this is early development. So anything that I say and criticize doesn't mean anything like it's not bad or anything it, it's just that when when i tell him to go like this that's what he should do he he should do that he should go back and now he's far away so now i can put him here but now i'm less one guy i because i would have brought this guy down over here and put him here and now i don't have that guy now granted i do have Yeah, I'm down one guy. Yeah, I'm down one one minute man. And and all we're trying to do is buy some time. Okay, so him and this one is kind of like this. That's that's not good. And we gave up the woods, and and you know the woods are good, but I need him to cover. I like I don't like this angle that he was on. So he's going to try to hold here and do it. And so Now I, let let me pause for just a minute only because and it's not like I want to prolong this. It's just that I do want to explain a few things, I guess. So you can see that we do have a bunch of guys here. So I might just tell them to take positions here because this is where the f the main fight is going to be anyways. And then uh, this guy has got to get into here. And if we go back like this, we see that we have nobody else. And, and like I said, we're down one unit here. So, all right, let's go ahead. I just want to make sure that those guys are moving towards the magazine. And then you can see that the two supply wagons are here. Uh, enemy, you can see Smith here. And then uh, Percy should come too. So they're going to... They, so on normal, even though there's been a few patches to the game, and this is why you end up doing a lot of different campaigns, stopping them because of the those. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's it's saying he's rear flanked. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna make a, they're gonna make, they're getting ready to charge us. And so I'm just trying to pull these guys out. Yeah, and I lost him, so I have no control over him. So yeah, we're, we're withdrawing. And he's gonna get flanked because he, he he the the path in like I don't know why he couldn't have come this way. And so he's getting shot, and I might lose him. And him, he he just I you know come on let's. I I've seen these guys go that way and get captured by them. And so 
uh, that's why I'm sending him over here so he can re re get his morale back. And because we don't have our general, and you were supposed to go there. Why are you not going there? I, I told you to go there. Okay, now have you, have you recovered enough to where maybe you could go there? Now if you just got here, maybe you can get right there. And then you're coming. I'm probably going to need you in here to protect this magazine. Now, we're, now this magazine is a really a, a, a powerful magazine. We get a thousand muskets from this and, you know, uh, it's only lost one percent. So just keep that in mind as you see this magazine cause, because I, I, I'm going to make a point right here. That's why I'm going to pause the game because I have more units coming too also. So I got I to gotta get these guys over here. Now it's possible that I could put these two two uh, Minutemen over here to keep this guy busy but this first 250 that we get he's got to get over here to protect the magazine and I think yeah I didn't even give a command to this guy so let me see yeah we're probably gonna need somebody over there too and this guy well you know he actually could go right there. And that should be that. Okay, so, and then look at Percy. And look at Smith. And, uh, and I'm just going to mention, I don't know where the other two supply wagons went. Like, it's kind of weird. But I, I know the enemy has three of them. But, but I know that they're not much supplies in them because they, they, they're usually empty by time I can try try to get them. But see, this, this little battle here is kind of like a tutorial battle. And so we want to try to capture some of these units. You know, because we'll get better, you know, things. And, and because this is early development of the game, we don't know if all the game mechanics are in this game. Like what we're used to, to Ultimate General Civil War, or what we're used to in... in the reason I bring Age of Sail up is because, like I said, one third of that campaign is land battles. So now... This, okay, now, and then we can put these guys. We can put them on hold so they can get their lines better. We can get a little bit better defense. Now, if I could get this guy here, and if, if he could lock in... This guy should be locked in. Okay, and now we have... Well, it should be a thousand. There must be one more unit coming in. But I can grab these three at least. And generally, what I like to do is... Even if I lose some of this, I like them to come over here because then we can try to melee these guys um, and, st and stuff like that. So we're going to go like a train and go right across here. But, but and then here's the last one. This is our last reinforcement. We, reinforcement. we will get no more. And you can see how the supply wagons are over here. Yep, 
Yeah, so this is... The way I... By putting everybody in here... We have a lot of crossfire and stuff. And that's what happened there. Otherwise, they would have pushed in already. And then I found out that you have to click on these guys and, and direct them to shoot at somebody. Alright, he's gonna have to get over there. Now these guys got pushed back. So, so I want them to go over that way. And then this guy needs to go... Now I don't know what he's doing, but he needs to go forward. And this guy got pushed back, so he needs to get up there. And now... I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and counter charge. Counter charge. Counter charge. Counter charge. And you were supposed to get over here. Okay, I want you to go shoot Smith. No, I told you to shoot Smith. Shoot Smith, okay? Shoot him. You get up there. Because if you shoot at their officers, they, they, they will d disband. You just gotta get one good volley on them. Alright, and then you, and again, uh, when you see your guys meleeing, they've got to uh, get more guys to melee. Alright, come on. Like, I'll show you this. He's gonna shoot Smith, and now Sh Smith just disbanded. One, one volley did it. So we don't get our officer in this battle, but they get two officers and we just took out one of them. I'm going to try to shoot at Percy. I'm going to try to get both of these guys to shoot at Percy. It's a shame that I don't think we even... I don't even think we got a prisoner yet. Okay, now this guy can sh Wait, wait, he can... He can get a shot on Percy. If he shoots Percy... Oh, it's saying he's blocked. He wants to shoot that one. Alright, this guy over here, like I said. I'm gonna tell these two and all this guy. He, he wasn't even... Yeah, he needs to be like that to get a little bit. He needs to get like that. He needs to get like that. You guys, go ahead and charge this two-star unit right here. And hey, can you shoot Percy? Can you shoot Percy? Somebody, please shoot. Okay, look. Oh, Percy is gone. One of these guys opened up on Percy. I don't see Percy anymore.
So don't be deceived by what you're seeing here, okay? Um, look, and then we got this guy over here that fell back because of morale. And now we gotta get him over here so he can help us out. This guy can go up there to hassle those guys over there. And yeah, because, yeah, look at him. He fell back too because he was, you know, whatever. Okay, so look. All right, you get over there. You get more forward. You come over here. Now we got, we do have a, oh, we did capture a two-star unit, but only one. I, I usually can get three or four, and it kind of sucks. Why don't you charge him if you're not tired? Can you charge him? Can you go get him? Can you go get him? Uh, you you lost morale. Sorry about that. All right, you guys over here. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting these uh, big units over here. All right, yeah, don't don't let him look. Don't let him. Look, he's better than this guy. He'll kill us. Let's get in there and help him. Look, you got condition. You should be you should be able to charge. Okay, charge him. Charge him. Help out. You charge him too. You help out. So this is what I mean about a train. Like we need to get all these guys to do that. And then that gets him. Then you charge. You charge. You charge. Come on charge. Come on charge. Come on charge. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, we got him. Okay, that's it. We got him. Okay, good job. Okay, boys. Good job. We still got eight minutes, but I'll tell you what. Okay. Like, it, it, it would be kind of hard to lose this battle because of the numbers. And I'm only doing charging only because I want these guys to all get over here to focus on this one guy. Otherwise, it'll take forever to get there. So now this guy, I'm going to send him out. Okay, he just disbanded. And now you can move out. You can move out. Uh, you may move out. Let's see, you get over there, and you go forward, and everybody else is going to just chill. We're going to take this, this place back. Oh yeah, anybody big, um, I like them to move out to a certain sector. And as far as our prisoners go, we have one, we have, yeah, so, you know, you can get anywhere from three to five to six or seven prisoners if you, if you can get, you know, the, the right luck about it, I guess. Um, and that's why you do want to charge because, but sometimes even just shooting might, might um, get the unit to, see, I'm just perfect. I'm trying to prevent this guy from counting around and so we're going to try to isolate and get him. And so now we can go fast. And the last things I guess I'll talk about is the fact that um, I like, I like, you know, this game. I, I like it. But they certainly at time you know made it made it kind of hard but oh yeah and see now he's gonna he's gonna try to see the british are too good so that's why we need to just get everybody there together 
in order to do that because if if you don't pay attention to that with these guys in the positions where they were this 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 enemy would would just keep blasting away at him and and follow him all the way to the edge and will kill him even being as small as he is and stuff like that and that's this is why you got to have combined force in order to deal with that and and things of that nature now Let's go ahead and tell him. Now, see, like I said, I can't tell this unit to go past this border. But in every other battle that we'll do in this game, uh, we'll be able to do that. Only the British at, in this tutorial battle can leave. And that's why... Oh, yeah, see, the supply wagons are right here. So, okay. I just wanted to show you the supply wagons, basically. And like I said, the game mechanics might not be totally here. You see? Yeah, I don't even know why they abandoned them. Yeah, but it's zero. So yeah, it's empty. See? And can you grab that one just for the heck of it? And that one's empty. Yep, yeah, thank you. So yeah, um, that's kind of disappointing, but all right. So again, in all of their games, the supply wagons uh, are nice enemy supply wagons. Usually have more funds than what your um, supply wagons can have. But this tells me that they didn't have many um, funds like they just didn't because how in the heck in this this short little battle could all three of them be empty and of course i can't find the other one and and so there's a little red here so 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 like in all their games uh especially age of what when, when i mean by all the games i just mean i'm gonna specify on age of sale uh, Ultimate Admiral, that game, on the land battles. What I liked about that game, and the, and the wonderful feature of that game, compared to any of their other games, was as long as there was a little red on the bar, that means there's an enemy somewhere on this field, and that means the battle won't end unless you... As soon as you do the objective, you can finish it. So for those people who like to do that, that's fine. Just finish. You know, you don't have to do this kind of stuff. But once this game comes out, and it's going to be a full game, and if it is going to be similar like Age of Sail Battles, um, it would be nice because then we can we can fill up these supply wagons. Like, like now I'm going to give you an example right here. Now I'm going to turn them off. That They don't have ammo to give out anyway, So, but I turned them off just to make sure. And so you can see that this dr just dropped from 99 to 98. And so basically what I'm saying is, uh, you can see just a touch of red right there. And so like an age of sale, and it happens pretty quick. Like this in this game, I can see that it's a very, very slow, and I'm going at the fastest speed at the moment. And, and, and I'm just showing you something that later on when this game is fully completed, um, if we have a depot, we can fill up these and an and, and, and age of sale. Like you could get, if you could do this to a depot before the game ends, like don't fi don't hit finish and leave some enemy on the field and, and you can just fill these supply wagons up. And in that game, you could have 25,000 per each one of these. But then again, the depot would be drained and stuff. But I would do stuff like that because that's what I enjoy doing. Like I, I enjoy getting the most out of it. And if and if they do this game similar, and then we can do such like this. See now it's down to ninety six, but we could do this. We could do this. But if it's gonna take like a couple of hours for me to fill this up, there's no way that I'm gonna do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you that. Now the last thing we'll talk about is these guys. Every British unit that came into this battle had one perk. But these two guys gained a perk while they were in the battle. 
every one of our units that came in had no perk. But you can see this guy. Look, he killed 12, but he lost 42. You know, and uh, but he got a perk. This guy got a perk, this one, this one, this one. And yeah, and, and wow, so these guys did it. And we have a few prisoners. So we're going to go ahead and see now at the finish. Like, I think those are all the things that I want to talk about when I'm comparing the game from Age of Sail to this one. I'm not saying, and then anything that I say here, yeah, look at, we're down to 94% right now. So so the, the theory, my theory is that we'll be able to do some of the same things that we did in that game, or maybe not. Maybe the devil will see that and change it. But nonetheless, it, it, it is a... It is proven, my theory, as far as that they're gaining some supply. But at, but this being but this being early development, we may not get any benefit from doing that. But in Age of Sale, I can tell you, you will get a gigantic benefit from doing that. So as I mentioned, on normal difficulty, we, we get 3140. Um, the enemy has 1,200. If you play hard, I know they get 1,400 and, and a couple of guns. But, and then on easy, you're only going to face about 1,000 instead of 1,200. And so, this time around, they didn't capture my unit. Like, remember that, 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 that minute man that was over here? And I told him to fall back and instead he went forward like a counter charge. And then he got gobbled up. Um, so he, he disbanded instead of being captured. But sometimes they always capture one of my um, Minutemen. And this is about an, a rough average. Whether I, I, whether I lose 800, 900, or even I've lost as much as 1400, I can tell you. But I still won. So, I mean, and we don't get, this, these guys are not ours. So, that, and then we have 184 of them that we captured. The, all, the only goal is by the end of that timer, we need to have, hold this magazine. And now with units, you can see the four captured units right here. And then you can see, you know, you know some of our units were heavily damaged. The last thing that I'll mention, and again, this is early development, all of this can change, but it tells me that their two officers, you, you Percy and Francis Smith, um, I volleyed each of those officers and they disbanded after that volley. It doesn't mean I killed them, but it should mean that they've lost 12 or 14 guys of their officer with this doesn't show that it, it just says 50 50 50 50 so this so i'm just telling you that this report is not a hundred percent like it, it's not a hundred percent of what actually happens in this battle so but that's not one of their high priorities to get right is all i'm saying okay so just keep all this in mind this is early development so anything i say doesn't mean a bunch of you know just means squat actually but anyways all right let's get out of this i spent enough time into this explaining some stuff and comparing uh two games that the game labs have made that i have enjoyed but this one is pretty tricky okay so again so you do this battle and you know uh, you will get 1,000 of these civilian muskets. They're the worst musket in the home game. But guess what? You need muskets, so, you know, we get 1,000 here. And this is why I didn't take the 1,000 when I had a chance when I was creating my uh, general. Because I knew I was going to get 1,000 right here. And then we get this guy, and he's always 315. He's a militar. And we're going to need him because I took a ship instead of a military unit. So we're going to need this guy. So as soon as I say, okay, and then, and then of course, we got 10 reps. And now we're up to 60. 
So I would strongly suggest to do this. Now, if I ever do this again to show you some of this game, everything that I just showed you, I would not show you. Like, meaning, if I, if I do this game again on anything, I would only show you, after all this kind of stuff, what it is, okay? So just keep that in mind. This I'm only going to show you once. <laughs> so, Because you can do the, some of the same things when you're starting the campaign and stuff like that. And that's why you wouldn't want to see all that all over again on a new campaign. Because trust me, I've done this plenty of times. And it's just whatever. Okay, now. Okay, so uh, with that in... Okay, now look. Um, all right, so I got... I have this, right, as is. Like, we just came out of that battle. And it's paused. So I think I could save the game right now. Just so that way... Um, or should I do what I want to do first? Wait a minute. Okay, so... Okay, so, yeah, let me do what I want to do first. Before saving it. This... This military unit that they gave us, we can give him a perk. I mean, you, you choose which one you want. It, it's just simple as that. I think what I can do is uh, send him here for now. Now, if I click here, I can tell my general to come out. And I'll tell him to move there for just a moment. This way, if I click on here, no, I don't want to click on, yeah. This is the only reason why I don't like to have the general in here, because it confuses the game and I can't click on Lester here so I can see my unit. Okay, so that did, okay. So I just want to show you that this is the one thing that you can do. You, you, you may not, you don't have to do this, but you could. You can see our fusil units, that this is our professional army. And even though we just started the game and we don't have the technology, we can add to this unit. And we can add another company to this unit. So now I have six companies in my regiment and I'm gonna say apply. And so I like to do this and again, I'm going to run into this problem. Okay. And I want to do this one more time. Because I want the six companies. Uh, because, you know, it just makes these guys with more men. And why not get it done right now? And so, okay. Okay. And like I said, if you had a military here, at this point on the 19th of April, he could be at 450. And if he's not, you just got to wait one more day and he will be. If I move this guy to here and put him in here, he can regenerate and stuff like that. And that's what that, that's just how, that's why I put these guys in here so I could add those. Uh, so I got, I got four extra companies right now, but they're tiny. And so now I think, and then if I look, click on my ship, you can see that my ship is back to a, a hundred percent, like. And so, and I can see a ship right here. So before ending this video, we could do a fight, but what I want to do is save the game. Only because bad things can happen on the ocean that are like that could just totally destroy your ship, and so we would want to have a sail, a, sa a save before doing this. So I'll call that to. So this is my second save. 
because I have what I, I basically want while time goes by. I want him to get over to here. I got my general out. I mean, he can go there. And I got these two having four companies that will slowly build up. And I'm not saying that this is the best thing that you should do in this game. I'm just showing you what I'm doing is basically all I'm doing. Okay. So now I think what I'm going to do is take a chance. and Because I don't, you don't know. Until you go out there, you do not know what that ship is. This thing is looks kind of big, so, you know, it could be, I don't know, a brig. It could be a, a same, same as me, a Corvette. Or it could be something even nastier, like a Diana class. But, I'm going to show you. Oh no, they got two. <laughs> oh gee. Okay, well we can fight one of them. Okay, so so this will be a fair fight. It's it's one Corvette against another Corvette. So this I think this will be okay, but I, I don't like the idea that there's two ships here because I don't know which one I'm fighting and when I'm done I might have to go immediately into a fight and that's what and, and, and we have no way of canceling this. So this is this is how the ship stuff works. I just want to explain what I think the game mechanic is. The game mechanic is, and they just got too many British ships, but the game mechanic is, like I call this a death circle. And, and how I explain that is, there's a circle here. We can launch a battle, but we can't get out of it. Okay, we cannot get out of it like we can do it in land battle. We just can't get out of this until the timer is over. And then we can try if, like, say this was a first-rate ship. There is no way that I would want to take a Corvette against a first-rate ship. Okay? They got, like, say they got 78 guns. I mean, they would blast me out of the water and stuff. And there's no way of canceling this. They'll go around in a circle. They'll shoot each other. And we will take damage. And after two minutes, we might get out of it. And if we, f if we run into another ship, it'll put us into another one. And, and they could go around for two minutes in a circle and they could end up sinking our ship and then we have no fleet. Simple as that. And that's why there's no easy way to get back to the harbor to be safe. But anyways, I've explained this now, the way this thing works. And now we're going to go into it. So I'm sorry if I bored you, but here we go. And the nice thing is, whether it's a land battle or a sea battle... They always have a save for the start, but then it gets erased later. So, I mean, so if this doesn't work out, I can I can do a start of it again. So here we go. Now, I'm going to pause this just for a moment so I can see where my ship is. Oh, and here's the British ship, and then the wind is going north. And so... So I have a couple of choices. One is... I go with the wind and I and I and I I shoot him. Or is my 209 better than his and could I get him right away? But either way, I would probably want to go to full sail and head this way. So and, he, and then it just depends on what he does. Like if he if he knocked out one of my masts, then I'm then I'm in real trouble. So I, I got a decision here of, of trying to blast him or do I come over here to try to get him? I, 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 will, I will lose a lot of sailors, but if I can get this ship uh, with less damage, you know, it might, it might be good. Now, he's going to broadside me, but, I mean, so I'm going to take a lot of damage, but if I can get his, sh if I can get his ship, 
If I can get his ship... Now, of course, I'm going with Grape Shot at this point, but I'm going to see if our 200 could take out his. Now, if, if, it, if we fail here, right, just outright fail, I mean, we can start it over again and then shoot him a little bit and soften him up. But at the moment, so I, I should lose about 80 or the 90 guys, I guess, but... This is just a quick way of trying to get his ship. And, and then, so we got his ship, right? And notice his ship is not damaged and mine is a little bit damaged. And so I just want to let you know that in this game currently, Unlike Age of Sail, if you do this to a cutter, you better have, uh, you know, under 80 guys in order to take the cutter. Otherwise, you have to sink the cutter. I'll tell you one little thing. One time, I faced a Corvette and a cutter and stuff, but I didn't have less than 80 guys to put on the uh, ship and so what I did is I just left him I came out of the battle and then the battle put me back into the battle because they recruited their their ship I just want to let you know that so like like so un like I'm gonna claim this ship cuz I, I don't I don't want to have a something bad happen so so now you know I got so now I have two Corvettes Luckily, the game, you know, made me face the same thing that I was, a Corvette, a six-rate ship. Because, you know, you can see Diana classes, you can see Bellonas, you can, you can see different types of ships that will be, you know, whatever. And even though now I have two of these, what I gotta do is try to get safely back to the harbor. And, and we saw that there was another warship on the ocean and they might put us in a battle. And what I'm saying is if I go against another Corvette and I can't get to the harbor, I only got 73 guys on this one and I only have 59 guys on this one. And so I'm going to have a big disadvantage and I'm not going to have anybody that I can put on that ship because this game doesn't have what Age of Sail had. Age of Sail you could put a minimum crew on of say like just 30 guys so out of my 60 guys i could put 30 on and i would still have 30 to run my ship but this game doesn't have that feature yet or they don't have that feature at all so i mean and that's why at one point when i was doing sea battles i couldn't get a cutter because i had guys that were 95 instead of 80 guys and I couldn't do it. And and they just give you the option to sink the ship is what they got. They give you that option. So they don't have a minimum crew type of thing in this game. And so, but anyways, that is, that's about all that I wanted to say about a sea battle. And so that's, uh, that's it, I think. And like I said, I don't know if in this game that, like in, like in Age of Sail, if there still was an enemy ship, but it was far away, you could do a lot of sailing. And any ships that you captured, you could sail them to get near the outer bounds area. And then they would get a little bit of experience and stuff in that game. Like there was a lot of ways. Because like I said, battles would never end. Because there was always, if there was always an enemy on land battle or an enemy in the ocean. And so you could really milk it and get good experience and stuff. And 
things like that. And that's only for people who would want to do that. Anybody else who doesn't want to, you just go and finish and you're done. But we'll go to the global map now that I talked about that. And you can see that um, we had one ship, 30 guns, 210. They had one ship, 30 guns, 140 men. And you can see that one was captured. But yeah, so we, we lost. So look, we lost 137 guys. And they lost 81. So yeah, I'm doing it this way by not wearing them down. You know, makes for a shorter battle, obviously. But, but gives me a ship that is like, like you know... Like, this ship doesn't even look like it had any damage. I mean, my ship has a little bit of damage right here, but... And a, and a little bit right there. So, I mean... Um, but anyways, okay, so let's go to that. We can see the U.S. Providence. And the HMS Carnelian captured. So, yeah. So now I strongly suggest when you come out of a sea battle to immediately press the pause button because you got to try to get to the harbor to safely get there. Like that's the one uh, thing about this game compared to Age of Sail. Age of Sail, the moment you were out of a sea battle, you were automatically in the harbor. And so, like, like for example, my ship now is here, and I need to tell them to go there because this guy could come up over here and engage me, and I can't get out of it for two minutes. And and let's say he was a D Diana class ship. Although I have two Corvettes, the fact is that they're undermanned. And for for two minutes, they're gonna go around in a circle and shoot each other. And then I'm going to get control, but yeah, there, I made it. So luckily, let's pause the game, but luckily I got back to the harbor. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you these two ships. Now you can see the structure is 95% and the personnel 34%. And so, uh, so yeah, they gotta they gotta repair a little bit on the sails and a little bit on the armor and structure. So yeah, so so you can see that the Providence got hurt, and you can see that this ship, you know, just a slight bit of damage, not much at all. So the structured 99% and personnel, they just need 28%. And if we click here, we can say, yeah, apply it. And you see that this guy is going to slowly in Portsmouth, he, he can slowly uh, get get up to 450 and so so now we have two ships oh yeah and then the other thing is we don't want a HMS so we would go uh, USS we can name it whatever we want I'll, I'll name it my city that I was uh, born in and and we'll we'll call these guys whalers just for the heck of it. And you can see they, they, they're, they're not very efficient right now. Like you see the stats. So now I have the USS New Bedford Whalers. 
And we have the USS Providence. And you can see not much time has passed. So, so maybe I could show you a little bit more. Let's pass the time. And when they're, they're walking, you can see that they just lost a guy because they, they lose people along the way. Now, I don't know how much resources uh, Leicester has, but... The first thing that we should probably do is now he's up to 720. And we're going to try to get him up. And he's already lost a couple of guys. Okay, now, now the game is going to start to expand. Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. The Continental Congress commissioned you as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Uh, you were selected over other candidates based on your previous military experience. Uh, okay, so I mean... I'm going to have him engage this guy for now until we can get these guys online. Now you see how this is. We can, we can do this or we don't have to. We can still do it on the map or we can do that. You know, and I, I told this guy to get over here and he didn't go. So I, I would like to have him over here to help us. And yeah, and see, he he's already... If he can get into this. Now it's not giving me the because I could do the battle, but... Okay, now, Massachusetts Patriots. The Massachusetts Patriots have formed a military unit in Lyser, Massachusetts Bay. Okay. Okay, so let's pause. Let's pause for just a moment. Now, I don't know why he wants to walk this long way through the woods. I mean, so I'm going to have to tell him to go that way. Man, I always, I, <laughs> it's, uh, I always have trouble with this game, like doing that. Because I want him... Okay, look, can I can I just tell you to do this? Would that be better? Okay, there you go. 
And I'll wait for him to leave so I can get on the other guy here. And I would like to initiate this battle, but it ain't gonna go. Okay, and this this will be good to show you a tactic that the AI does against us. I just want to, uh, I'm going to tell you this ahead of time and we'll see if they do it. Okay, so generally what happens is the unit that you see is down to 157. He's going to go into Newport to regenerate. And if we don't engage it, he will regenerate. So what the AI does is they take the unit that was here in Newport out to fight us. So that way we fight him and not this guy regenerating in, uh, when he fell back into Newport. And that's what the AI will do anywhere on the map. The one retreating will retreat into this while the one that was here will come out and fight you so that way this guy can regenerate. Now that is a thing that actually happens in this game. So anyway, so now uh, what I can do here is I got to tell these two guys uh, oh, to, to, to engage over here. So we want to get them coming down this way. And my general is here at the moment. And I got this situation over here. So now I can click on this guy. I'm going to take a chance and leave a uh, Leicester open. Because the, the game gave me, you know, an extra unit. And then this, ports, this uh, guy that I got over here from the, the Conquered Battle, he's now at full strength. And so I can send both of these over to here to try to knock out this fort while we're also trying to knock this out meanwhile up here now now our ships are back to full full strength but this portsmouth unit is not at full strength yet he's only up to 248 and and we need him to get to full strength and as you notice i didn't save the game so i won't do another sea battle because i can go out there and lose my entire fleet in matter of just like like i like I, I like i showed you earlier in this video that that luckily i was close to my harbor and because you lose control in a th in a death circle for about two minutes so that is that so i think yeah i mean but i did want to show you some of this here that we could possibly do just like at the very moment middleborough is is not manned but i got these guys here and so that's why these two gotta engage with them and i, and I already told you pre what was about to happen and now and and now and here's the biggest thing in the game that will come at a constant rate the British keep getting reinforcements. So right now they probably have about 3,000 in Boston. Right? But now they're going to get, in a moment, from a ship, they're going to get 720. Then they're going to get 1,000. Then they're going to get 1,800. And it's going to just keep ramping up and, and stuff like that. And that's what makes this game, you know, a challenge. But anyways, um, that's what, that is, is what's going to happen. So they're just informing us of that. And then this... Okay, now pause. 
Okay, so we can we can okay, so it's given us a choice to do this. So see what happened? It's exactly what happened. The retreating unit from Providence is in here and he's going to regenerate while he's here. And the one that was sitting here came out to fight us. So we don't fight him. And we can do and so I might as well do a battle. So he has so his unit is going to reinforce but I got my two fuselers here. And so we might as well, I might as well show you one of these battles. Because I've shown you what I did on on this top top part of the map. But I mean, the I guess the global thing I showed you what we can do. How we pushed him out of here. And now we can do an actual battle. So let's go ahead and do that. And so we'll go into a battle. Now this battle, both us and them can retreat out of the border. Just it's only in the Lexington battle where you can't that we can't retreat out. So this is 24 April 1775 Providence. And it's a part of Newport. So that means He's going to come out and help his unit here. So Now, our regiments are going to get broken into companies in this. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I, I like to pause just so I can see what's going on. So here are my guys. And... <laughs> I ain't gonna know where the enemy is. Oh, and my ge yeah. So but the enemy shouldn't be over here where my general is. My general's hiding in the woods. Do you blame him? <laughs> so all right. Oh yeah, and you can see that we're we're all of our guys are almost out of. We're also almost out of ammo. Okay, well, I I don't know. Let's let's just grab some of our guys. And have them move forward, I guess. Yeah, cuz I I don't know where the enemy is. And, and the enemy can actually run and get away cuz they're if if I have too much of a force, they might do that. So it's kind of hard, you know, the enemy's got to be forward. Oh yeah, here they are. Okay. So let's pause. Let's see. Now that we see them. And then these guys can still go that way because we don't know where the other unit is. And maybe this guy can come over here and this one can come over here and stuff. And then my general needs to get probably over here and we'll go ahead and continue. Guess what? They they got a gun.
Okay, now this is kind of. See how they run up? They run through you and stuff. It like it, it, that shouldn't happen. That just shouldn't happen. Okay, just like, oh, and then we got to get these guys over here. We got to get that gun. We cannot allow that gun. So, yeah, see, th th this kind of sucks in a way of the way this goes down. I mean, you know, I know, you know, I had more men than what they had, so, you know, but they fought for a little bit, but um, you can see that. Um, man, I gotta, I gotta at least try to run down that gun. If I don't do that, I don't know where the border is, but... I gotta tell them to run to try to get that gun because otherwise the gun is gonna get away. Come on. Don't let him get out! <laughs> Do not let him get out. That's the one thing we don't want him to do is to get out. Yeah, the border was right here. So be careful because if you send your border guys out, they'll they'll uh all right so now hey is is there a gun over here no we can't take it okay so all right now what i'm going to suggest for you to do if 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 you can if you don't mind you can you can tell every one of these guys to hold okay and so they're gonna hold and okay now you can see that this guy is a hundred percent condition and this guy is that's okay and then over here we sent some up we ran them we charged them oh but he is a hundred percent he is a hundred percent and he is a hundred percent and you can see that the ammunition is really low on these guys so then I would have to say, I think we're, we're done then. As long as everybody is 100%, then we can end it. Okay, so I would just suggest, I mean, it does say that there is somebody on this field. I just don't know, you know, where they are. Like, and it would take forever. It would take forever to go to every little spot to see where he's hiding. Um, they still have a force on this field, but essentially, this is over. So we'll 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 say we're done. And you can see, um, I lost 33 guys. They lost 200 of 508, and they lost one gun. But I didn't get a gun. So oh well. So now the reason that I ran fast time and I made sure everybody was 100% condition is simply because once we get back we're going to pause the game it'll take a moment and like i said you don't have to do these these are just some of the things that i do so i mean uh so anyways okay pause and now we got to go back And we see that this guy has 186 guys. They dropped some equipment. And now my guy, I want to charge him. And I want to charge him too. And he surrendered just like that. And now this unit, I'm going to send him over here because this guy's withdrawing. 
can send my general so we can see what's going on. And, and this guy just collected that. Now he's going to come down here and tag Newport. And this guy has got to find him over there and engage. Okay, and then also the things that I'm forgetting about, and I, I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep doing this, but I guess in a way I'm showing you some of the things that can happen in this game. Okay, is the way to look at it. I'm trying to get these two units over here to engage at Fort Stevens. Um. We did get Providence, so our reputation is up. Oh, and then we have this. So this is something that you should do, but I, and I saw that I could do it. It's just that I was concentrated on this stuff over here. But these are all the things that can happen in this game. Like this game, as when you run time, all kinds of things happen, events. But the first thing that we must do is get a quartermaster. And so we can drop them in here. We could also use uh, six of our reputation that we just got because we're, we're, we're capturing places. But we don't want to waste this, but we could also burn seven of our reputation. And so now I only have seven, 70. But in one day, we'll have a quartermaster. So we can just speed this one thing up by doing by burning some of our reputation and this is why when you created your character you could have taken the 25 rep so you would have a lot of this that you could get your tech up even faster if that's what you wanted to do and stuff like that so that's all that I'm, I'm, I'm showing at the moment and so we captured uh, Providence and we're going to capture Newport in just a moment. And these two were supposed to go over here. So they're on their way. But this is the last location that we knew. So this is the fog of war. And only our general can resolve that. And they said that we just took uh, Newport. Okay, quarter. Okay, so now at the moment. Okay, let's let's. Okay, so now Newport. Okay, so Newport is now captured, right? So now they give us. And if you had not taken the patrol ship at the beginning, you would get your first ship here, which is a British ship, that's captured, and it's called the USS Obedient. And plus, we gain ten our reputation. So now I'll pause the game again. And look, he's up to 431. So he's really close to being at 450. And our two ships are just hanging out here that they're 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 ready to go out again and stuff like that. And I haven't saved the game and I need to do that. And because we already have Newport, and we now have this little cutter here, which is not strong enough to go out there, so you just leave it here. Or you, or you could, you could uh, disband this, and then you could sell the ship if you wanted to have a little bit more money. 
But right now we don't have a money deficit at the moment, so we're not going to do that. But that's one of the things, if you didn't want to do sea battles, you could do that. And now we can assign an officer to the quarter, quartermaster chief. And if you look at the two fields that it matters, it's 37 and 37, 19 and 15, 23, 24 and 33, that's not too bad. So yeah, it's this guy here. The reason you want to have the strength of the fields here is because um, that's the better performance. And so now we're gonna need we're gonna need the wagon technology, so we're gonna put the, the chief on that to do that. And if I I think it's important to get the engineers and so because of the because that it's important at this point I could blow 10 reputation because we're capturing places and we're gaining some rep so but but that is a big chunk but we could we could do it just so I could show you uh, that part of the game. We can go ahead and do that. And now... I really need to send him up to Providence. And uh, this guy is still engaging him. I don't know if we could do a battle. And I don't know where these guys are. Like, they should have been on their way to this fort. I, I don't know why they're just stalled right here. Because it's already April 26. Like, I mean... <laughs> this thing started on, I think, the 18th, right? I mean, oh, jeez. Because, see, if I don't wipe out this unit, he's going to be a problem for us. The pathin is really, like I said, the pathin is hard to understand in this game. Okay, and now they want to have us to make a product, pro production infrastructure in Hartford. And so now I need to <laughs> get that going. Okay, so now uh, for Chief Engineer, 15 and 28, that's a real good number. Or 23 and 27, which is close to 28. So I mean, We'll put him there. And we'll go for Engineering of the Revolution. 2.5% research speed. That'll be the first thing that we do. And so those things are going on. Now, now here you have a choice. 
if you want to start the artillery department, which is only 10, you can put it into here, or you could go here and you can start this, which is Army Innovation, a new building upgrade recruiting house to barracks. Or you could go with the Sons of Liberty and, and go down this. But it this is a tough um this is a tough and then oh and then once you get this you can come over here and try to get uh Benedict Arnold, which you know he he I think this uh, isn't this the general that was a traitor to us at some point? But but anyways, we can get him. But right now so so that's a decision that we can at least start to get burning of some of this and so that means i'm gonna forego this for right now and then in so now that we have an engineer we can go to hartford And I think they want us to have a recruiting house, so so we can we can we can at least start that. We can even do a school that'll that'll get us you know a spot for an extra officer. And in Newport, we can try to get a warehouse. And in Providence, we can try for a stable. And in Leicester, we can try for fur trading. And, of course, you know, the British can take these over, so, I mean, you know, we're taking a chance to do some of this, but we are, you know, doing it. And now in Portsmouth, which we may end up losing, you gotta understand that the British... The British have Salem and Boston, and so we can easily lose this. We can try for a carpenter, I guess. Now, I guess I could show you the flow of products that can go from Hartford to Newport to Providence to Middleborough to Boston to Salem all the way up to Portsmouth and then back to Fort Stevens. Notice how Lyser only goes straight to Boston at the moment and stuff. And you can see Boston is the best right here than Salem I mean we got pretty good in Providence and stuff like that and I gotta get over here to Middleborough um, what does that say oh yeah 
Okay, so now, but this is gonna start taking some of our money here because we're gonna we're gonna hire three uh, factories. Okay, so if I do it this way for right now, and only and I only hire three factories, I can at least start getting, you know, one ammo per day, and only ten per day currently. I mean. Yeah, only 10 per day, so it would take me, take me 10 days to get 100, um, hmm. Ah, but see, that's 77, so yeah, I think, I think I'll just leave it like that for now, okay? Like, I've done some production. I am going to start getting some muskets and stuff. Now, just fighting the British a little bit, you can see that we got 68 of these. And without taking the extra thousand muskets that you could take at the beginning of the campaign, I mean, we, we, we still have a bunch. So, I mean, again, this is the, the, the worst weapon in the game, but that's what it is. So I think uh, they're supposed to be here and here, I, 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 whatever, like this is the fog of war, so we can't, I don't, you know, it's, it, unless I get my general over there, I ain't gonna know, but then I'm dealing with this guy right here. And so... Like I said, you can see how he's headed towards Hartford, so I, I've got to stay with him. And and this guy retreated from these guys here, which is really terrible. And this is shows you the military how bad the military are. So now I got to take this guy from Portsmouth. And I gotta hope that this guy does go up there. And this is just gonna show you some of the things that could happen in this game. Okay, so you can see that this unit lost a little bit right here, and I'm trying to get this one right here to capture that. And we're trying to kill this guy. 
So I'm gonna try to get him right there. It's, <laughs> it's a okay, you know, and I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell him to go over here to Middleborough. I mean, because if not, the 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 uh, British might take it, and I'm having a hard time getting him over there. And at the same time, we're trying to wipe out this guy here. And he's withdrawing. And he's, he's, see these military, these military really suck compared to our professional soldiers here. Oh, right, look, I want you guys to just charge him, okay? Like, really, just charge him and kill him. I could do the battle, but not with a military unit against a regular professional British unit. Like, I'm not, you know, I mean, you've seen, you've seen already that two of them re retreated. Two of our militaries retreated. That's how militaries suck. The only reason you have them is because that's what you can have at the beginning of the game. And you can have the numbers, but I mean, <laughs> they, they totally suck. And this is why, to me, it's important to uh, get this army innovation. Because after we can get, after we get this technology, we can then go for the fuselers. Or we could decide to go get, go get the general, the extra general. So I mean, it's, it's. It's a lot of variables of the things that you can do. And so again, and then this is the fog of war. We don't know exactly where this guy is. Come on. <laughs> this, you know, I mean, this is why you need the general. It's so important to have the general. Okay, good. He surrendered. Okay, so now the, the issue is over. Okay, so now... That issue is over. So, so. so I'll, I'll, I'll tell these guys to get over here. He's supposed to... He's supposed to get over there. Okay, and now the game is expanding even more because now it's May 1. Pennsylvania military unit has arrived in Hartford, Connecticut to join your army. So we're going to pause the game. And now this unit is going to head over this way to help this situation over here. Because these military guys, in my opinion... Okay, so then let me. Okay, so this game is gonna keep opening up. So I've I've gotta save the game and I, and I gotta end the vi end the end the uh, end the uh, video obviously. But um, everything everything keeps expanding as you can see. But at least what I've done is I've wiped out the Providence unit and I've wiped out the Newport u unit. And so therefore. I have to say that that's a positive thing, especially where I didn't have the extra military unit where I where I had the uh, one patrol ship. So, and then I guess I'll show tensions between the Britain and the Creeks are rising. Tensions between France and the USA are rising. So tensions between France? Parlez-vous français? Are you telling me that we have tensions with France? Hmm. Tensions between Spain and the Arrocas are, are declining. Tensions between the Miamis and the USA are rising. So, so, so we do have some tr some natives that are, you know, what I mean, it, this, this is a very chancy stuff here. And then tensions between the Cherokee and Britain are declining. So they're they're making they're they're becoming friends, I guess. And then you'll all, you're always going to have this um, 
Not all your factories or shipyards are used. So, I mean, you can just ignore that. Now, now we do, because of wiping out those two units, we have 117 of these brown bass. The moment we have 120, we can, we can give it to one of our fuselers companies so that will be nice now currently Okay, so we can do stuff like this. All right, we can try a little of that. And I could start this battle, but you can see that he's about to break. And I'm supposed to have this 450 unit, military unit, to get back over here. He's on his way. And I can send I can send this new unit military unit that they gave us. I can send it to Leicester only because we have nobody there and we should probably do that. And then these guys are headed to where they're headed. And so Yeah, see Yeah, see, the British are just too strong for these military units. I mean, it, it's. I need my I need my fuselers, but they they're in the process. They're supposed like he's supposed to be getting this. Okay, it has been reported that the Cherokee and Britain have officially entered into a groundbreaking alliance. This historic agreement, shrouded in secrecy, marks a radical departure from centuries of rivalry and conflicts between them. And I'll tell you, until I can get, until I can get my fuselers over there, this is going to go pretty bad. Okay, and, and now the, the, there's more pressure on us right now. So this is now an event where we're supposed to capture Boston. 50 reputation and 20,000.
Okay, and then I'm gonna tell this unit. Okay, so hold on. Construction house. You successfully constructed a recruiting house in Hartford, uh, regional Connecticut. And you can see that, you know, we got five reputation for doing that. And I'm going to put that militia in here. And so the militia got back to full strength. And now he's going to move out. But it's 4 May already. Now the Patriots of New Jersey offer um, ammo. And I, and I know I gotta make a save. I know I gotta uh, end the video. I know... Like this is just the... Uh, I was trying to see if I could get... But you can see how strong these guys are. And neither of these are at full strength. And so all that I'm doing at this very moment is trying to get my fuselers over there. And it really, you know, yeah, look at, okay, and I want to show you a seven pack. There, there's got to be about four Diana class ships in that, along with a brig and a cutter or something. I mean, that is just too much. And that's what I'm saying. The British are really, really tough. So we have 41 days to get 100 muskets, but I think that I'm getting 10 per day. So just in 10 days, I should have produced 100. So, I mean, that should cover that. The tensions between the Cherokee and, and British are declining. Uh, alliance between Cherokee... Okay, so now this is a bug. Alliance against... Between Cherokee and Cherokee. Like, I don't think there's two different types of Cherokee tribes. I, I think... Or natives. Whatever, whatever you want... Whatever term you want to use back then. But, I mean... Now, undercover intelligence officer... We have uncovered an officer of the British naval ranks. The, uh, this officer gathers critical information about the British plans and communicates uh, it back to us. He reported that the British sent fresh troops to Boston. Yeah, well, we already know that Boston's going to be at a ridiculous amount of force. Like, it's going to be like in the 6,000 to 8,000 range. So, I mean, we already know that. Okay, so my fuselers have arrived. Okay, now the Second Continental Congress meets in Philadelphia and... We can have 400 muskets, we can have 40 ammo, but I'll, I'll take the money. Alright, why don't we close this out? I would like to have another unit, but let's close this out, this video out with this particular battle because this game just keeps on progressing and there's a lot going on and I, I, I can't show you every little thing and make the video like three hours or something. So I mean, uh, we'll just do this one battle. Now, don't forget, these guys are in a fort. And they're going to have cannons. And so, and I only have one unit, so I'm only going to have six companies. 
a matter of fact you know these companies are, you know are not big so yeah so this is Fort Stevens 10 May 1775 all right so this is our six companies that's all we got and the general and so we do we do see some woods here So this might be a bad idea, but it's all that I got. I mean, I, I usually like to attack with two two regiments, and you know, and if I lose my my good guys here, I'll only have one fusil unit left. So, but you know, I, I'm just disappointed in the in the three militas that I used to attack this fort. Like it, it's that's how worse those guys are. I mean. So, so basically, the military units, um, we can just let them try to hold places as opposed to using them as a fighting force because they, they suck, totally. Uh, my, my general is getting over here so we can see what's going on. And yeah, this is gonna be it. Oh yeah, this. Th oh man, they got a hundred on the cannon. Oh jeez, that is too terrible. Forward! Yeah, maybe maybe we just gotta we just gotta do the hot uh, hot thing. Okay, you engage him. Yeah, this this is this is gonna be ugly, but you know what I want? I'm gonna do it. See, they want to—they want to stop and shoot instead of going. Charge! All right, you do that on him. Get him. Get him. K kill him. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that gunner right there. That's it. Get him. Kill a ball. Okay, 
shoot him. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish the cannon would shoot. I mean, maybe he doesn't know how to operate a cannon, but. Okay, well, the only thing I hope, oh, wow, okay, so general, over here, get over here. Okay, you over here, and you over here. No, just, just man this. You man that, my general over here. Why don't you put the gun over there? Maybe you'll be effective. I don't know. You come up and get that. Okay, so now, you know, um, they, they're going to have to come and try to take the fort back if they want, but <laughs> at least we're in it. I mean, hey, I only did this with one regiment. And, you know, um, we captured, like, their gun, so I mean... Oh, we could even... No, we can't. We can't uh, I wish we could apply a perk, <laughs> but we can't. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a six-pound field gun. Yeah, so that was the only thing that was kind of scary was... Once I seen that they had a hundred men on that six-pounder, I, I knew that was going to be a serious thing. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, so all six companies survive this uh, thing. And and they, they ran off, but nonetheless. Now, Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to mention that you could do in these kind of battles is to just make sure before you get out of them, because there's a little red here, so the, the enemy might be still on the field. But just make sure you're at a 100% condition. Um, I can go, like, I can do the fast time so it goes faster for you, so, it's, so you don't have to be 100% bored, but... How about the can? Yeah, see, he, him, I don't know if I could put him on hold. Yeah. And so, now, when we get out of this, we're not going to have, the, we're not going to have a cannon unit. We, we This will go away, like, uh, but at least, you know, we will have a percentage of those guns right there. And I can show you, and then, and like I said, I'm going to have to end the video, because I've been running, I've been doing this for too long. But I'm merely showing you and demonstrating, you know, some of the things that you can do. And the so the only one that is not at a hundred percent is the this gun here. And I don't know why. So I wonder why 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 the cannon unit. Takes so like these guys, it didn't take them long to get to a hundred percent. That's why it can go real quick. But maybe because uh, him not being a true person unit that would be on a on a six pounder is maybe what that would account for it. But we're not gonna have this when we go. So I could d I could um, get him off the gun. Like I, uh, there should be a button here but maybe not. 
that would say, you know, drop the guns. But at 75, yeah, I mean, that's too long of a time. So let's go ahead and go to global map. Okay, so I did have a regiment of 648 fuselers. I lost 171 of them. But the enemy lost a little bit more. They lost 231, and they lost four of their five guns. So they had 100 men on those guns. And it's five guns, and they lost four. We didn't capture any units. And so, yeah, and then again, like I said, after a battle, we will pause the screen. And we'll just see if we captured this fort. Like, we were on the outside of the fort. We took it inside here, but I think we'll still be on the outside. And the enemy will be on the inside of whatever's remaining of this particular regiment. So let's just see, just for, you know, the purpose of seeing it. And I'll pause the game. And so, yeah, so the end result is I got 470... And generally, I like to charge them only because we want them to surrender. They might not, but they are kind of small. And the status of this unit here, these guys still can't get the 450. I mean, seriously. And then they're here. These guys are here. These guys are trying to get the 720. So let's see. Yeah, they surrendered. Yay! Okay, so that means I got this fort. So I'll move the general over here. He will go over here and claim this little bit of resource. And at the same time, we're trying to claim Fort Stevens. We'll get some rep for doing this. Or we should get some rep for doing it. And we got that supply, and I will tell him for temporarily to go in so he can start getting back up to 720 if there's enough resources in this region. And so Fort Stevens is captured. Doesn't seem like we got any rep for it. Intelligence department research is available. Okay, so, um, I can decide to burn rep to get this, so then something else will open up. I could take a big chunk of rep right now to do this, and then I could start an artillery department. And then I think here we can, we can refill this, here. So I could burn this and then put, put the refill in or whatever. So there's a, there's a lot of options right there that I could do. So this might be a good place to end this particular uh, point. So, so at the very moment... You can see the flow, and we'll we'll end it right here. So yeah, okay. So, no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, a great evening. Please take care of yourselves. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. Keep all religions equal. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas.